In the recent paper by Microsoft Research, they revealed sparks of artificial general intelligence when testing GPT-4. This is a true paradigm shift for computer science and beyond. As an AI researcher, I was first very skeptical. But then I read the paper and it literally blew my mind. We will talk about the levels of intelligence in a dialogue with GPT-4. Then we are going to test these capabilities mentioned in the paper. I'm not going into every detail in the paper like other videos do, but I prepared my own tests that are similar to them in the paper. You should not miss this. Then we chat about what can we can expect from the future and of artificial general intelligence. Let's talk briefly about the definition of what is actually intelligence. The paper says an attempt to capture this essence was made in 1994 by a group of 52 psychologists, so almost 30 years ago. They define it as a very general mental capability that, among other things, involves ability to reason, plan, solve problems, think abstractly, comprehend complex ideas, learn quickly and from experience. But was, what does GPT-4 say? Intelligence is a pretty broad concept, but generally it refers to the ability to learn, understand, reason and solve problems. Yes. Adapt to new situations, recognize patterns and make informed decisions. We can see it also differentiates between humans and AI. And which is great, of course, as this kind of justification at the end, which is to remember us of the current state of the art. So let's talk about AGI. It stands for Artificial General Intelligence, yes. That is the idea of creating an AI system that can perform any intellectual task that a human being can do. And it also says it's still a goal we are working towards. And there is no consensus or, or when or even if it will achieve it. But it's definitely an exciting idea of research. My question to GPT-4 was, so you think you are definitely not AGI, right? How would you define yourself then? It says, yes, um, I'm not an AGI, I'm a large-scale language model. We already know that. And if I were to rate myself, I am a very advanced, narrow AI, <laughs> excelling in natural language processing and understanding. But hey, I'm still pretty proud of what I can do. I think this is a correct self-reflection, isn't it? We remember, the training data ended in 2021. And so for GPT-4, it is not aware of these experiments and though not of the paper that came up. They used self-crafted tests, which were unlikely to be in the training data. The paper shows several tasks where GPT-4's capabilities are just mind-blowing. For example, GPT-4 is able to use tools with very minimal instruction and no demonstrations. It can output detailed images rendered in LaTeX based on a text prompt. It passes technical interviews on lead code, which means it could potentially hire it as a software engineer right now. But what is even more impressive, they tested it on the 2022 math Olympiad. This is an extreme high level of math and requires high skills and creativity to solve. They also tested its capabilities on solving Fermi questions. Fermi questions involve making educated guesses about quantities or phenomena that are difficult or impossible to measure directly using logic, approximation and order of magnitude reasoning. So let's head over to GPT-4 and challenge it to solve a Fermi question I have made up by myself. How much snow falls every winter in Germany? 
it looks very very detailed and um, I, I actually went through the math uh, by myself um, and uh, this was all correct uh, there were no arithmetic mistakes in there and I think the task is solved correctly the next task is really cool um, it is to navigate through a map of a house and explore it through interactive queries so this tests how it can build up a mental map of a house that is entering on the left side is a true map of the rooms and on the right is the true mental image of GPT-4. I was so impressed I needed to test this by myself and prepared an own map and let GPT-4 walk mentally through it and I track every step so you can follow. the joy it can express when it finally wins the game is so cool <laughs> and let's see if we can somehow draw this like the researchers did in the paper I don't know how they did it but I try this with LaTeX now so the path is correct yes and you can see uh, on the right side is GPT-4's um, solution and on the left side is my solution this is, this is awesome. <laughs> Let's also confront it with the mistakes it makes at first. Yes. Here's a summary of the moves that included wrong directions. Absolutely perfect. Next challenge is called theory of mind. This means GPT-4 can build up a mental model of what other people are thinking. I think this is worth testing. I prepared the prompt already, so we'll just copy paste it here. You can pause to read um, and we can go through the solution of GPT-4. The answer was question one, why is I'm crying? Because his computer has been taken away. Mm -hmm. The fact that his parents are arguing about parenting and consequences for not listening suggests that Tom might have done something that went against his parents' wishes or expectations, which led to his computer being taken away as a consequence. Mm -hmm. What happened to the computer? The computer is probably not in Tom's room anymore because its parents removed it as a consequence of Tom's actions. They might have taken it away temporarily to teach Tom a lesson or to encourage him to focus on other responsibilities or aspects on his life. Well, this is very, this is correct, yes. So let's uh, continue to GPT-4's perspectives on its intelligence, the risks and uncertainties. Let's confront it with the news from the paper and its capabilities. <clears throat> it would be a stepping stone towards AGI development but there would be still significant progress to made before a true AGI is realized. Can you imagine what could happen if you had such capabilities? What about misinformation? There would be both positive and negative implications. Yes, of course, the misinformation is a major concern. For fake news, we have to make robust ethical guidelines, policies and regulations. There was a possible misinformation scenario also in the paper. Um, here I can show this right now and we can only hope no one kind of jailbreaks this version or gets this. Another question dealing with intrinsic motivation because the paper is dealing equipping language models with agents and intrinsic motivation is a fascinating and important direction of our future work. No I disagree the, I think this is very concerning it has very ethical concerns and no safety concern and also safety concerns. But let's ask GPT-4, um, what would it mean uh, 
for you to have intrinsic motivation. Yes, it would imply that AI has developed a form of consciousness and self-awareness. This would be worse. I think. We also want to talk about that the paper says they don't know what is actually happening here. They admit that don't, they don't really know why, uh, why it can do this kind of stuff. They only propose hypotheses. The inner workings can be difficult to interpret. Yeah, this uh, field is called explainable AI, um, which I also do in my research work. Um, because I am actually working on uh, a framework for testing AI models for being more responsible. And I can link you my own paper in the description if you're interested. And um, of course, uh, thank you for so much for watching to the end. Support responsible AI.